Six vectors, v1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, are each chosen to be either 1, 1, or 3, 2, with equal probability, with each choice made independently. The probability that the sum of v1 up to v6 is equal to the vector 10, 8 is one of these, one of these options. Okay. Um, so I suppose we have to figure out first how many different combinations uh, of adding these vectors together, 1, 1, and 3, 2, can possibly result in 10, 8. Um, so let's look at the first coordinate, 10 can be written as um, <coughs> well 3 plus 3 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 and I'm sure that's the only way of doing it I mean um, how else how else would you get um, 10 using only adding together only three and one and you have to do it ex you have to have exactly six elements okay uh, but we also note that eight is equal to two plus two plus one plus one plus one plus one so the question is all of these vectors are assigned randomly we need exactly two of them to be 3, 2, and we need exactly four of them to be 1, 1. Okay, so um, there's probably some simple expression to, to do this, but I'm just going to count like use some simple combinatoric stuff. Each each individual selection of the six things has equal probability, which is one over two to the six. And I'm gonna compute. So there, there are two to the six possible combinations, right? Because each vector has two possible choices. And I'm just gonna compute how many possible combinations there are that satisfy this. In fact, it'll be six choose two, right? So isn't that the answer? Isn't it just going to be 6 choose 2 out of 2 to the 6? Let's work that out. 6 factorial divided by 2 factorial, 4 factorial divided by 2 to the 6 is 64. Um, so this is 6 times 5 over 2 over 64 and that's 15 over 64 and that's it and that's option C <coughs> I mean I hope I'm not missing hope I'm not missing some strange thing um, you know just to test, just to do like a sanity check, uh, to do a sanity check that um, this method works, I'm going to do the same thing except using these numbers, 12 and 9. So then we need exactly 3 to be of each type. And so then the answer would be 6 choose 3 out of 2 to the 6, right? 6 choose 3 out of 2 to the 6. That's 6 times 5 times 4 divided by 6 divided by 2 to the 6. 5 times 4 over 64.
which is 20 over 64. So it's, it's a little bit higher than what I had before, but it's still not quite 50%, which is what my intuition was telling me. It's not going to be, uh, it won't be 50%. It should be less. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm confident that this is the, the correct answer. Just working out, so, you know, what do we do here? The number of successful combinations divided by the number of total combinations. And um, everything is done independently with equal probabilities. So every possible combination is equally likely. And that's why this is the correct ratio that we're looking for. All right. If I have a mistake, I'll let you know. Thanks for watching.